Two weeks ago, I hosted a brand new event that I planned called the CEO Sessions, and it was a partnership with a, a woman that I admire named Stella Orange. She's a copywriter and she has a really great loyal following, um, and she's really just a wonderful entrepreneur. But I learned a lot of things at the, this event. It was a new format that I had never um, done before. It was more like a Q&A round table instead of just a straight networking event. Um, and because I was doing it in partnership with someone else, I didn't abide by my own uh, tenets and principles of event hosting, and I wanted to share with those, share with you what those are today. I'm Lauren Caselli, a creative workshop event conference and retreat planner for creative entrepreneurs, um, and today I wanted to talk about how to take care of yourself on event day so that your event is successful and reaps you the rewards that you are hoping that it reaps you. So one of the things that I constantly forget to do as an event planner is to take care of myself on event day. And what that really looks like is getting enough sleep the night before, not doing any planning or any errand running the day of the event, simply just being present. Maybe if you have an assistant, having them do setup and hiring. Your only job on event day should be to host your guests. Um, and a lot of entrepreneurs don't believe me because they think that they can do everything alone. Um, and I'm here to say that the one reason or one of the top reasons that you're hosting an event should be showing your ideal client and showing your um, ideal audience that they can trust you with their business. And so you need to be a present host and you need to be a present individual in order to do that. If you're running around sweeping floors and picking up cocktail napkins and you know talking to the owner of the venue because the, the air conditioning is too high, um, you don't look like the million dollar CEO that you should be looking like. Um, you should have someone there to do that for you um, and preferably someone who has an idea of, an event, of events. So you can just say, hey, assistant or whoever, planner, um, it needs to be warmer in here, can you work on that? And they'll say, yes, absolutely, I can I can do that and take care of it. Um, because to be honest, hosting an event should A, be income generating, or B, should be lead generating. And you can't do either of those two things if you are putting yourself in a position where your client sees you as a DIY expert. Unless you are a DIY expert, in which case, you know, maybe this advice isn't that great. Um, but I will say that the whole purpose, or one of the biggest purposes for hosting your own live event is to show your ideal clients that y they can trust you with their business and they can trust you with their money. Um, and you can't do that if you're looking like Cinderella um, before she's dressed up for the ball. You should be Cinderella at the ball, or you should be the host of the ball, um, not... Um, not cleaning up after after uh, everybody else. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Um, I also wanted to talk about what it looks like to take care of yourself. So not only hiring someone, but eating good food, uh, making sure you drink some water, making sure you have water with you at all times. One of the things that I rarely do and always forget, and it always bites me in the buns, is I always forget to hydrate on event day and um, I'm, my lips are chapped. The next day I wake up and I feel like a mess. I can't do any work. I'm so tired. Um, the adrenaline is wonderful but it only lasts 24 hours and then I'm like on my buns. Um, I can't, you know, I can't do anything. So make sure that when you are planning your event and when you are going full force um, into uh, hosting your event, you have everything planned. Everything is already done. You know, you've confirmed everything. Um, and you're ready to pass it off to your kind of hired planner or day of help or whatever um, because you need to take care of yourself. Drinking water, eating food, resting, being present, relaxing before you give your speech um, because again, if you're frantic and you're not able to hold space for your people, they're going to see that, they're going to sense that, and they're not going to turn into repeat buyers. So, two things. Number one, um, I want you to uh, leave me a comment in the box below and tell me the last time you went to an event, whether it was a conference or a workshop or a retreat, um, and what the host was like. You know, whether it was a host or a speaker, um, were they frantic, did they feel like a little out of sorts, um, and how that made you feel uh, as an audience member. And two, I wanted to let you know that I'm hosting a webinar next week, um, that's July 22nd, Wednesday, um, about creating an event budget. Um, and the title of the webinar is Event Budgets, How to Create It, How to Use It, and How Not to Blow It, because we don't want to blow our event budgets, do we? Um, I'm Lauren Caselli, and I will see you next week.